In this video rip tip, I want to talk about something very important that most people either forget to do or don't know how to do, and that is backing up the settings for your Harlequin rip. What we're going to do is look at how to do that in a version 8 OR8 rip, but this same process can be used for any version of Harlequin rip. If you have a backup file like the one we're going to create, should anything go wrong with your RIP or the machine that it's running on, it's possible to get all your settings back the way they were at the time when the backup file was created. I would suggest backing up your RIP every month or so. We're going to zoom in at the top of the RIP on the left-hand side. To back up the RIP, you simply have to run a file. By clicking this button here, the print file window comes up. What you want to do is locate the subdirectory, which is called Utilities. So here we are in the RIP directory, and we're going to scroll down to the directory called Utilities and select that. Within that directory, you'll see that there's a file called Backup Configuration. Select that file. Don't worry about what the page setup is set to, because this will work if it's set to any page setup and press print. This starts the process of backing up the RIP. As you can see, there's a lot of information that is scrolling by in the RIP's information window as the RIP backs up all of its settings. And there's also a progress window which shows you that the RIP is being backed up. The backup doesn't take very long, and once it's completed, the fact that it is completed will be displayed right here in the information window. Also in the information window, the RIP reports that it created a file called config.ps. Here we are in the Zytron subdirectory, and then we're going to go to the Navigator 80R8 directory. Inside there, we go to the Utilities directory, and inside there we find the backup configuration file that we ran and the config file which was created. Now I suggest renaming the config file so you know when it was made. I'm going to rename it backup and then add today's date. You can leave a copy of the file here in the utilities directory, but it's a very good idea to make a copy of the file. You can right click on it and say copy. And then to take that copy of the file and put it somewhere very safe, either burn it to a CD or perhaps copy it to another machine on your network. Should something have gone terribly wrong with your RIP, and I hope it never does, you'll need to know how to restore your RIP using the backup file that you just made. Restoring the RIP is about as easy as it was to back it up. You go to the print file dialog box, you locate your backup file, Here's the one that we just made. Highlight that. Don't worry about what page setup you're on. And hit print. After you've restored your backup, you'll have to shut the rip off and restart it in order for the settings to take effect. If you appreciate our video tips, please visit us at our website, www.c-doc.com and consider letting us help you with your pre-press and press service supply and equipment needs.